The U.S. Supreme Court will not take up the Illinois assault weapon ban, at least not yet. That court made, the court made the announcement today. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Henke explains what went into that decision. The Supreme Court will not hear the case over the Illinois assault weapon ban. The court had the opportunity to rule on whether the law should remain in effect or not while the rest of the legal battle plays out. But with this decision, the law remains intact, meaning it is still illegal for certain guns and attachments to be sold in Illinois, and anybody who owns one of these guns prior to the law being signed must register them with the state. Supporters of the law celebrated Tuesday. Everything has been really affirming and, and consistent with what we had said all along, which is that these laws are legal and constitutional and they're effective. The decision to not hear this case does not mean the court won't take it up later. Now, all eyes turn to the Southern Illinois federal courts, where the question of constitutionality will be taken up. And that case will likely head back to the high court eventually. Justice Clarence Thomas issued a statement with the decision calling the law, quote, highly suspect. And Justice Alito said he would like to have the case of this law in front of the court eventually. The State Rifle Association is viewing that as a positive sign. Because we're not going to give up on this case. This uh, law is wrong. It, it affects many people in Illinois, and it should be overturned. But Representative Bob Morgan, the lead sponsor of the law, said the concern from those justices in particular was expected. I mean, if there were nine justices or five justices that agreed with Justice Thomas, there would have been a different decision today or Justice Alito. So it shows you that they do not have the majority of the court uh, that are really extremists on guns, at least. That was Cole Hankey reporting. The two sides will meet for a hearing at the Southern Illinois Federal Courthouse in September. That case will decide whether or not the law is constitutional.